This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and once again welcome to BISVSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you another simple example of Groovy script. Example number second. In this example, I'm going to display data form value using an object called grid iterator. So under the same example, I show you list of all the data form values, all data form values and only those values which are edited. So let's get started. I'm going to use over here a sample sales application. So I start with creating a Groovy script. Go to forms, go to rules, create and manage and create a Groovy script. Create a new rule. So by default, open the system view, select your queue, right click and create a rule. Right click, create new rule. And I'm going to test this rule as Groovy test second example. The first example was hello world and this is second example. So there are two kind of script calculation script and you select script type as a Groovy script. Okay, so first I'm going to create a grid iterator object. There are multiple ways of doing it. You can directly create an operation dot grid dot data cell data cell iterator. As the name indicates, iterate through all data form values. And uh, you can iterate through all data form value one way. Dot each, it is same like your for loop, treat all data's fall, data cell one by one. And I'm going to display the value using print. Display value print and double quotes. So you can use an object name, global object or it dot data so display data form value you can add a string as well cell data is the one simple way validate this save and validate and you can associate this with data form on certain events so maybe when you click on save button the rule should run okay. and once you save this make sure you deploy validate and deploy Once this is got deployed, the next step you can see the rule under your deployed deployment view. There you have two folder to be deployed and deployed. You see your rule got deployed over here. Groovy script rule number second. This is got deployed. Okay. You can know the rule from here itself, but because this rule is associated with my data form, so you can run this rule by associating with data form only. In this example, I've created a sample data form. And uh, I want to run this rule on certain event like on save event. So open your data form into edit mode. Uh, yeah, this is my form. This is actually a smart form. Open to edit mode. And there's an optical business rule. Associate your data form here. Groovy script test to Groovy script test to associate with this. One way you can explicitly run it, another way you can run it on event. Like I want to run this form, run after save. The moment I hit the save button, the rule, the business rule would run, the Groovy script would run and display all form values. Finish. And now let's run this rule. Open your data form and input some numbers. I'm going to put some sample number under that and hit the save button. Putting some number and hit the save button. When you hit the save button, this will invoke my rule. The rule ran successfully and you can see the output of the rule. Take a snapshot of it, put it over here. So you can check the output of the rule along with the data form value. So rule output you can see under application jobs under application, jobs, there is an option called, you see the rule would have run, rule ran 25 seconds before, group it is test two, and under job status completed, this is a rule, data cell all value, right? This is your data cell all values.
So this is basically 70, the rounding off is 16.66, 49 and all. So it is reading cell by cell. There's another way of calling the same rule by limiting this grid data cell iterator to only those cells which are edited or modified. In order to do this, you can modify this rule a little bit. In the parenthesis, you can pass an argument only for data cell which are modified. Data cell, name the object as cell, the arrow operator, cell dot edited. So as the name indicates, edited is a Boolean object and display only those cell which are modified. Okay. Save it and uh, I'm going to deploy this and once again run this rule. This time I run this rule for different intersection. And uh, this is my entire data form. It will display only those cells which are modified or updated or edited. Open your data form once again. And uh, these are the all values, but I'm going to put some new value under my data form for May and June, 10 and 20. These are two new values I modified and in turn, modify your quarter two. Hit the save button and uh, Tool would be invoked. Rule ran successfully. See the output in your jobs application job. Application job. Rule ran successfully and the output is completed. Only these cells are modified, which are displaying your uh, job status message. Okay, so these are two tiny examples will help you to understand how Groovy script works. In a subsequent example, I'm going to show you more advanced validation and Groovy scripts. So that's it for today. Should you have a question, please feel free to reach out to bsp solutions.com.